Hey coach, you got a big win over Maranatha tonight. That game had a ton of ebb and flows. Uh, I'd just like to know what some of your thought process was during the course of that game. Oh man, it, it, it was everything as advertised. We we told our boys all week this was it was going to come down to one or two plays, and it did. I mean, Maranatha is a great a great team. They have a great coach, and uh, we, we we were ready for for a battle, and that's what we got. Now we'll talk about your defense first. Their first four series, they scored one touchdown, but three times they were in the red zone. A couple times pretty deep, and your defense just stepped up. Yeah, you know it's a bend, bend, but don't break D. I mean, you know we have some playmakers on there, and. You know, we, we let him in the red zone, but when it was time to step up, they, they certainly stepped up. So, And uh, Grant Escobar, I know he's pretty camera shy, but uh, he was absolutely amazing yeah. tonight. I thought it was amazing that you had Jones score two touchdowns, or three touchdowns, but on the last one that it looked like he had to give me, Escobar took it away from him. Wow, well, you know, the kid's a stud. Uh, we switched him over in one week. He has to learn, you know, cornerback, but he's just athletic and he doesn't quit. And uh, he's just a, a great, a great uh, young man. And Taylor Anderson got, I mean, I'm sorry, Steven. Steven Anderson got banged up, he and uh, Daniel Chacon came yeah. and did a heck of a job well, for you. Well, you know, we <laughs> Daniel Chacon doesn't get no reps during the week, but this happened last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Steven went out two or three times. Daniel Chacon stepped in and won us games, so we feel comfortable with him. And he, he's an, another amazing young man too. And thoughts on your team as far as huge win tonight. And I know this league's not easy. I mean, with only a four-game league season, yeah. uh, everything's a playoff game for oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it you put this one in the bank and it's like, hey, next week, boom, we're back on the clock? Well, next week I know for sure we're going to win because it's against a bye. So. Uh -huh. Hey, that's a tough squad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you you um, ready for a bye? Oh, man, we need it. You know, we have, as you can see, we have so many kids on our sidelines that are, that are hurt. It'll be probably the first time after our bye when we go into Valley that we're going to be at full strength. The first time this season, so I'm just so proud of our, our young man. You know, they don't quit. So, and uh, lastly, uh, how far away is this team from where you think it should be? Oh gosh, what a question. Well, I, you can't really gauge because we have so many key kids that are still out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just keep winning, I, and it's, it's just a credit to them. Uh, you know, I, I definitely think we're better than last year. Um, yeah. But uh, we still have ways to go, and uh, Valley Christian is, you know, yeah. enough said. Uh, that's going to be a battle. Hey, Coach, thanks for your time. Thanks.